Welcome back to another video in the series Throwback Thursdays. Uh, this is Smiley Oma, or you can call me Smiley, and uh, this month we are featuring another uh, blueprint shuffle from Dragon Slayer. And so, again, as the previous months, uh, this blueprint that you've seen was first created in week one by Lily Bat, and the, she, the, the theme was Gothic Cathedral, Food Court, Food Plaza, and uh, Lily Bat added a thousand and two pieces. And let's take a look at what she did. This is really, imp this is really, really pretty. The detail is really amazing with just what she started off with. She used the wooden little brackets in the game for those little spikes. She added some uh, food courts. We've got chief beef. Gulpy soda. And a hot air, or the balloon, <laughs> hot air, the balloon shop. And some restrooms. So about four shops in here. And uh, Lily Bat is an incredible creator. She's made a lot of amazing uh, Maker toolkit items, but I highly recommend going to her her workshop and checking out what she's done. She did a really cool uh, New Orleans park. It's just gorgeous. But this is what she did for week one. I'm gonna zoom on over here. Week two, Henmyra had the blueprint, and so she took. Uh, Lily Bat's original blueprint, and if you can see, uh, she added on to make it a little longer of cathedral, and she also made these really cute uh, heart-shaped uh, topiary English garden kind of things, and uh, Head Myra is known has been known for making really pretty gardens. She, I think she made a two-door garden uh, roller coaster. That's really cool. Check it out on the workshop. But she also added some flooring and some fog and some uh, signage for the shops. She also added, okay, so I guess this was a, okay, that was an ice cream shop? Or no, 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 okay. She, yeah, she added an ice cream shop. So now there's, there's five. Yeah, sorry if my, my zoom is making you sick. Sorry. <laughs> Anyhow, she, so she added, uh, some signage in another shop. So the shop has five shops in the cathedral. Some seating areas. some more um, topiary work and then she added a like I want to say these are colored glass panels yeah oh and I have to yeah the glass windows uh, to make it look like a stained glass I thought that was a nice touch So she added 992 pieces for week two. Then in week three, I got the blueprint and I just had heart palpitations. <laughs> I think I spent half the half the week 
just doing research of like what could I do with the garden, you know, and I, or not with the garden, sorry, with the cathedral. And with it being gothic, I, I did a lot of googling gothic cathedrals and churches, and they had these really cool cemeteries on the side of them, and uh, I thought, okay, yeah, I could do something with that. And so I, what I did was um, also, okay, so Henmyra began this wisteria kind of garden here. I, I don't know why, because I think she had, oh no, she ran out of um, pieces. Yeah. She, so she didn't do it on the other side. So what I did was I, um, I completed that. So that was completed. Um, but what I did was I added on, and I this is actually like I recreated this from a picture I had seen um, from the internet, and just tried my best to make it look exactly how it looked like, um, except for like these trees. Um, these trees, um, uh, they were in a favorite cemetery that I drove by in my uh, last town that I lived in and I just love these trees and so I put them in here because the, uh, the like the historic cemetery had them in ours and I really liked it but anyhow uh, so you go down here and again I didn't put any pathing in here I was like nope <laughs> um, but we go down here I'll, I'll go down this way and then we'll kind of turn around of course you know me and my puns I, I had to, uh, couldn't resist. So here you go, like, uh, one way, do not enter. And one of the cool things is I was trying to come up with different ideas for, uh, for stones or tombstones and stuff. And these are just basically backwards windows that I kind of doubled up on to make it look like, uh, tombstones. This is a first aid station that I, I, um, Totally skinned. Oh my gosh! Can't talk. And recreated like this from like little crypts that I had seen images of. But this is, yeah, you can see there's the first aid station in here. So the path would walk right into it. Walking down here. I'll also, um, I'll remember to turn the. Um, Turn it tonight so you can see it at night. Here you've got sirloin burger, <laughs> and uh, some of these I had actually taken like from uh, funny tombstones that I had researched. So some of these, like I was hoping for a pyramid, that was an, on actually a tombstone. Here we've got Am Princess Amelie, Her Royal Highness, crispy fries. <laughs> Asleep. 
and then I put um, our all the creators names that were in this shuffle for this creation Lily Bat, myself and Henmyra and um, I don't recall why we didn't have a round four on this one but I think the reason was is that so Lily Bat added uh, four shops in here already and then Henmyra added an additional shop it brought it up to five and then because I was such a new builder and I didn't know jack squat I still don't know a whole lot of jack squat I'm winging it but because I added the first aid station uh, the ATM and the staff room that's eight and I think that the person who was supposed to get it after me, um, they were like, you know, there's nothing for them to add, and that I think there was some concern that, you know, I don't know, I, I, I don't know. But anyhow, uh, this was pretty much completed. And uh, so we got this done in three rounds instead of four rounds. But uh, let's turn it to night so you can check it out, all the cool lighting. So when you can tell, you can tell here, we'll go over here, we'll see. Yeah, I like this uh, lighting that Lily Bat had added, just nice and, I don't want to say gothic -y, but it has a, that nice, like, a uh, mysterious vibe. Like, this would look really good in a, a, a forest that you just come across, you know, like a ruined gothic cathedral kind of thing. Then Henmire added some lighting for inside the shops and lighting up her topiaries. Then I um, did some out front. I basically just uh, highlighted the, the crypts and some of the funny um, lighting, or I'm sorry, some of the fun, some of the funny uh, tombstones. Yeah, I had mastered. Sometimes, like, uh, if you don't sync the signs in really good, you can see the sign poking it from what you're trying to hide it in. So, as you could tell, I had perfected that yet. I, I really like how she lights up. Her wings are signs, and this kind of lights up. That's cool. And I really liked how I got him lit up the little angel wing sign. But uh, yeah, so this is the Gothic Cathedral Food Court uh, with for Dragon Slayer uh, Blueprint Shuffle. And uh, pretty cool. It's, it was, it's fun to see the, the metamorphosis. One thing I will, um, I still, I think the problem is, is when when you create, you place down something. If you're, uh, if you don't flatten the terrain really good, so like, as you can tell, this is flush with the ground. But then you have over here. See how this this is floating, and that's not the creator's fault. That's the, that's. Oh, hello. This is my fault. I think because as you can tell. Here, see, it's it's sitting really perfectly on the ground, and then same with lily bats. So when I when I place down that blueprint in my park to work on it and add on to it, originally I think the ground was flat here, and 
I don't know. I, I, I think I, I know that I did something wrong to make this look nice, but then this, it just, it, it's a little wonky, and I apologize to Head Meyer and Lily Bat for that. But, uh, it is what it is. I'm still learning and growing in this game. Um, but, uh, did the best I could, and hope you liked the evolution of this and what we all did. And I appreciate you tuning in to watch this video. If you like the video, I would really like to uh, hear your comments, see your comments, and see what you think about it. And uh, have a great month uh, and peace and love. Bye.